Everybody should be concerned, but this is not a rash of robberies that are occurring. We're looking at one individual potentially connected to two robberies, and we'll look at that. He's been arrested for the one. Captain Jim Troiano of Alachua County Sheriff's Office says what started as a robbery at the Kangaroo Newberry led Alachua County deputies on a high-speed hunt for 29-year-old Derek Edwards. Around 2.40 this morning, Edwards pumped a little more than $12 of gas, entered the store, and with the threat of a gun, demanded what was in the register. The clerk did the right thing. She gave him uh, approximately $55. He then left the store. Using details provided by the clerk, ASO dispatched a description of Edwards' Nissan. Soon, he was spotted on Millhopper Road, and when he was asked to pull over, he took off. Well, we attempted to bump the car or to push it off the road several times, and that was unsuccessful. But the break law enforcement needed came from an unlikely helper, a trucker. By slowing down, the truck forced Edwards to go around, landing him in the median. That gave officers a chance to use precision and mobilizing techniques. One attempt renders the vehicle inoperative or inoperable, and then at which time we were able to arrest the driver. Now charged with robbery and aggravated attempt to flee and elude authorities, Edwards is in jail. Police say he's also admitted to holding of the Publix in Jonesville, where he walked away with $100. While ASO has not found a weapon, Edwards says he had a pack of Mentos in his pocket, which would have led the clerk to believe his threat. So what do you do in a case of a robbery? Your assets that you have do not compare to your life or the life of another. So what we ask you to do is to please use caution, use your common sense, and comply.